Okay, we are pleased to have with us today Mattia Rajati. Okay, so um, I would like to ask you a few questions uh, regarding regulatory evolution. So, where are we now and where do you think that uh, we should go should from go. now? Yes. That's a very important question at this juncture. It's true that uh, the regulatory reform has proceeded um, very fast, particularly over the last one or two years. I think the regulators have achieved a lot of um, progress on many fronts. I would quote um, capital, liquidity, mm -hmm. uh, resolution, mm -hmm. um, the question of, of global CFIS, and then also compensation. Yes. Now this work uh, obviously has occurred under an enormous political pressure mm -hmm. and um, has delivered results which are a different uh, level of um, of um, specificity or, or details. Yes. I think uh, uh, for the banks uh, that oper operating in such an env environment was not that easy mm -hmm. um, because obviously all this reform created a lot of uncertainty yes. which obviously complicates you know, the business planning process, yes. the yes. capital planning process and, and, and other processes. Mm -hmm. Now I think this year uh, there was a, an important event which was in um, September when mm -hmm. the Basel Committee specified yes. the ratios. Yes. This obviously took off uh, the system quite yeah, some uncertainty. Yeah, a little bit uncertainty. Um, yeah. On the other hand, in November, the Seoul meeting mm -hmm. didn't deliver a lot of details regarding other important yeah. uh, areas like the resolution and yes. the global CFIS. I think that this, you know, also because the banks have, uh, have reacted meanwhile the, after the crisis yes. and have uh, made a lot of progress on various fronts themselves, yes. capitalization, governance, compensation yes. rules. I think it would be good going forward to step back a little yes. bit, have a break, mm -hmm. and uh, depoli depoliticize the, 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 all the movement mm -hmm. and take the time to assess yes. clearly how to fine tune the framework in the best possible way. I think there are a couple of parameters that would be of paramount importance to get them right. Um, I think that we should be careful about the potential uh, second order effects of all these reforms, which will manifest in, um, in the way uh, banks operate businesses, which the choice of the business lines, the choice of the product mix that they offer. Mm -hmm. If they are too constrained, uh, it will be obviously difficult to have a, you know, a, a decent return on equity mm -hmm. and to be profitable. Yeah in a decent way and then what will happen probably if we don't get it right yeah. will be quite some disintermediation I suspect yes. and um, the emergence of a shadow banking yes. sector yes. Yeah. which then would lead potentially to mm -hmm. the same sort of problems that we have experienced yes. in the past so the so-called monitoring phase so important for yes. the regulators it's really important and I hope that we'll take it enormously seriously yes. Yes. and be able also to make changes yeah. if needed but proceeding now really with a lot of analysis yeah. and not rush anymore okay. in the fine tuning. Yes. And the banks to take time also to analyze and anticipate potential effects in their strategic plan Agreed. as well. Agree, yes. agree, absolutely. That's very important. Otherwise, that might be a serious risk yeah, for the institutions. That's really bad surprises. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you.